purpose of this lecture is to make you familiar with the MRAD format of research. Many of you are already familiar because you have done your MD thesis and you wrote your protocol, submitted your thesis in the MRAD protocol, in the MRAD way, MRAD format. Now there is very interesting history what we were doing long back uh, before the 1970s when MRAD format was formally accepted uh, in medical research. Scientific papers have been there, people have been writing and submitting since, 19, uh, since 1665 and initial two centuries the form and style were not st standardized, they were written in the form of letter and they included experimental report and it was usually single author, they were written in a polite way and they addressed many issues at the same time. Experimental report was also descriptive and events were often presented in a chronological manner. It evolved to a more structure formed where the methods results were described and interpreted and the letter form gradually disappeared. Method description were developed during the second half of 19th century and now the papers had a theory experiment and discussion aspect which appeared in the papers. In the early 20th century contemporary norms began to be standardized with decreasing use of literary style in medical research writing. Gradually in the course of 20th century people realized that introduction, methods, results and discussion that is the IMRAD structure is ideal for writing medical uh, uh, scientific writing but it was not being used by the authors at that time. After World War and International, Co World War II an international conference on scientific publishing recommended this format culminating with the guidelines which were set up by International Committee for Medical Journals editor which was formerly known as the Vancouver Group and these were first published in the late 1970s. Just to uh, illustrate the point that the credit for putting IMRAD structure in place in terms of scientific writing goes to the editors largely, the Vancouver group. And if you look at the data, this is showing you publications from four major journals. Before 1970s there were you know IMRAD format was not being followed and when you go beyond 1985 everything is standardized in the IMRAD format. We look at one particular journal that is British Medical Journal, again after 1985 you find that most of the publications in this journal are following the IMRAD format. Credit like I said goes to the editors, the Vancouver group. Now we know every paper has a scientific...